Colorado. This is Kristen. Hi, I was wondering if I could get some kind of advocacy for my uh, All Health Network. Um, for your um, uh, just explain that a little bit further, and I'll see what we can do. Okay. Um. So I've been with All Health for a long time and stuff, but all of a sudden, since before COVID started, um, Dr. Townsend and Dr. Goya and Dr. Benj, they keep putting me on certifications of court-ordered monthly injections that I'm allergic to, and now they're, they're, I don't know, I just don't want to work with Dr. Townsend, and I'm just trying to get a better mental health network. I'm sorry, I just woke up. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Um, so, what county do you live in? I'm in Inglewood. Um, is that Denver? Um. County? No, it's not Denver. I think it's, uh, Douglas County, maybe? Okay, um, and do you have, are you on Medicaid? Yes. Okay, so um, once you, you know, you just would need to figure out what county you're in. And then if you're in, for example, if you're in Denver County, you could go through a different healthcare provider like MHCD. Okay. Um, and, you know, just change, if you're not happy with what you're getting, just change providers. Oh. And you don't need an advocate for that. That's, you need to be, honestly, you need to be your own advocate. Okay. <laughs> And, yeah. then, and that's what I did. I went to Community Reach Center, and they weren't really doing much for me, so I went to Denver Mental Health. And then All Health just took me to the mental hospital and dragged me back to All Health with this cert. Uh, where are you now? I'm with All Health now. I mean, you're inpatient somewhere? I'm outpatient. Outpatient, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I would just figure out exactly, you know, what mental health services are in your county and just switch it up. And obviously it would need to be a Medicaid provider, but there's plenty of those. Well, that's the thing. All health just keeps dragging me back to their stuff. I'm not sure how legally they can drag you back to their stuff. They just send me to a mental hospital that they work with, like Bridges or... Uh, Aurora North or um, Denver Springs, and they just say that I have to stay with All Health because they have a cert. Okay, you have a, a who, who says that? Dr. Townsend and All Health Network. They say you have to stay with them because you have a cert, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and the cert is that you get your monthly shot. Um, no, now they're just saying that I just have to work with All Health and that I have, I'm not sure what the cert says. Um, but I was with Denver Mental Health about a month ago, and they literally forced me to stay with All Health. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that either. Um. Does All Health have a patient advocate that you're aware of? Well, I have been leaving voice messages with the grievance line of All Health, but they don't return my calls and they don't seem like they really care. Okay, have you been doing that for a while? Yeah, um, I've been leaving, like, I leave a voice message that explains everything that I'm going through and stuff and they just delete it and they just they don't even listen to it they don't even call me back or nothing okay um and then i doc and then i talked to dr townsend about this stuff and he just laughs at me and he's like well i don't care you just gotta you gotta do as i say because i'm the holder of your cert what does he want you to do um, I'm going to be talking with him tomorrow, and I'm not sure what he wants from me. So probably the best thing 
for you to do is, A, to advocate for yourself, because unfortunately that's what we with mental illness have to do. Um, so when you speak to him, take a piece of paper and a pen and just tell him you want to take notes so you understand correctly. Write everything down, what he wants, what he needs, what your options are, um, and then, you know, I, well, I'm not going to, if you want, I'm not answering phones tomorrow, but I, I'll be in the office. If, if you want, you can get all the information and call me back, and I can help you sort through it. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah, and, and I also have a call recorder, which records the calls, too. Oh, yeah, okay, gonna... you're oh, you're doing it on the phone? Yeah, yeah. Oh, not even Zoom? It's just a phone call? Yeah, because oh. I haven't had internet for a long time, for like a year, so I've just been having to use my phone. Okay. Um, yeah, then record it, for sure, and then just, if you want, just... If it's a long conversation, obviously I'm not going to be able to listen to it all, so just kind of summarize it in your notes, and then if you'd like to, just call me. And I don't know what we can do, but, I mean, maybe it's something that I've had to do. You know what I mean? We can at least brainstorm if you want to do that. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Cool. So tomorrow um, a lady named Brenda is going to be answering the phone, so just let her know that you want to talk to me, and she will send me an email, and then I'll call you back. Okay. And, and what's your name? It's Kristen. Kristen. Okay. How do you spell it? Yeah. K R I S T I N. T I N. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the number? Oh, to call me? Yeah. Uh, 303. Okay. Same okay. number you called. 321 3104. 3104? Yep. Okay. Thanks. And if he if he's making sense and he's agreeable and you two are agreeable with each other then you know just take it as that you know i would hope so but you know if you're just not agreeing with his course of treatment i mean we as individuals have every right to i've totally done it i mean i've gotten up in a psychiatrist's office and walked out because he was such an asshole and gotten a whole new psychiatrist i mean we can do that i mean I don't understand, unless there's something that I'm not understanding when you're talking about the CERT and all health and da-da-da, and, and I can try to find out that information if I don't understand it. Yeah, he, he's just abusing the system. I mean, he gave me those injections for three months, and I ended up being allergic to them. And after the What's your diet? Do you have uh, schizophrenia? I have trauma-based PTSD. What injection would they give you for that? Abilify they were giving me. An injection? Yeah. Ooh. I don't even know why I'm on a cert in the first place. I've been completely cooperative with them my entire life, you know? You need to find all that out. You're asking me questions, or not asking me questions, you're telling me things that you should be able to get the answer to by asking that doctor. You literally just told me you don't know why you're on that cert. You have every right to know why you are on that cert, and it is his job to tell you why. Yeah, Period. And, and I do ask him. He just laughs, and he just he just acts like he can do whatever he wants with me. That's not that's not cool. Yeah, that's it's not. not. Cool. I, I'm, I don't like it. It's scary. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No. Mm -mm. No. If if I felt scared by a, my healthcare provider, I would be doing something. I don't know what it would be, but I wouldn't be. And you obviously are. You called us. So um, yeah. That's got to be straight now because you, how can you care for your mental health if you're scared of your providers? That's like, how does a person with um, high cholesterol figure out how to treat it if they're scared of their doctor? I mean, it just doesn't work. Right, and, and that's what I've been going through. Like, he just, he just abuses the system. And I keep saying, like, I don't want to work with Dr. Townsend or Dr. Gray or Dr. Benz, just... Please give me someone different. And they just completely ignore me. Just like, okay, well, your next appointment's this date. And I'm like, well, with someone different? And he's like, no, with me. And I'm like, dude, I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, um, I, I was 
I, I don't mean to cut you short, but I was in the middle of some a timely issue that I need to get done in half an hour. So, um, yeah, if you would just do that and then call me back and we'll see what we can figure out. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Right. What's your name again? Vinny, or Vincente, Vernigello. Oh, nice. Are you Italian? I am. <laughs> My roommate is Adam Bertignole. Oh, that's a good one. I love it. Okay, cool. Well, you have a good day. You make sure you take notes. Listen to the phone call. Again, if you need to, um, just be, you know, very polite and respectful and just see what information you can. Because, you know, if, if, you, if you get upset and pissed off like I tend to do, then no one gets any information or anything done that they need to. So just have a, you know, he's no better than you just because he's a doctor, although some of them think they are. So just to have a, you know, a good, healthy um, conversation between a physician and his patient. And, and just because it's a physician doesn't put him over you. He, he basically works for you. I mean, if you know what I mean, he works for you. I mean, he's the one that prov is providing a service. So just keep that in mind when you talk to him. Yeah, and, I, and, and that's pretty much what I say to him, too. I say that it's my treatment and it's my recovery, and I have last say what happens in my treatment and recovery. And he just right. says, no, it's, I have the cert, I'm the boss, and I'm just like, this is ridiculous, you know? Yeah, see if you can't find out why you have a cert and what that means and why you got it in the first place. Yeah. Try to find all that stuff. Actually, today, write down a list of questions that you want the answers to so that you have them right in front of you. Okay, actually, yeah, let me write that down. Yeah, a whole list. I mean, if you have 20 questions, write them all down and... And say, you know, if he gives you, what are your appointment times, 15 minutes? Yeah, about. Just really make sure you can get as much information as you can within that short time period. Because um, I just had an issue with a psychiatrist where he called me out on something because I was late and I only had 15 minutes. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. They, they do tend to work around stuff, but. Yeah, there's some shitty ones out there. So, yeah, you take care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. All righty. Bye.